Good morning, beautiful, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day, this day, progress very, very successfully for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. Beautiful black people, know this. <clears throat> the only 100% human beings originated, originated on the continent of Africa. Disregard all of the bullshit that some racist white folks have propagated, trying to tell us that they, white folks, are the original people, the original human beings on this planet called Earth. It is not so. It is not so. It is a lie. The only 100% human beings originated on this planet was black African folks on the African continent. People that looked like me. People that looked like you, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. White folks have did a thorough job of whitewashing African history. They have they will whitewash anything that casts them in a negative light. That's what these white folks, some of them, are about. They do not deal with truth very well. They live in a bubble. They live in a bubble. They create an alternate reality. And they discard real, R-E-A-L, reality. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The real, the real, R-E-A-L, is always in the nakedness of the mind. Listen to some of these white folks like Trump and Mitch McConnell and any of those white racist Republicans, any of those traitors, those Republican traitors, listen to them and they will reveal the real R-E-A-L in the nakedness of their mind. And most of them will not even realize that they have revealed the real, the truth about themselves during the time that their lips were moving. Mitch McConnell said a few days ago, that voting rights and <clears throat> conditions for black folks, people that look like me, are much better now than they were 60 years ago. The real is in the nakedness of the mind. Trump went to the podium yesterday after more than 140,000 Americans have died from the COVID-19 disease. After more than 140,000 Americans have died from the COVID-19 disease. After 
about 4 million Americans have tested positive to the infection. And the experts say that the correct number is probably 10 times 4 million. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Trump went to the podium yesterday and tried to convince the American people that he, his administration, has done an excellent job responding to controlling the COVID-19 disease. That idiot white boy lives in a bubble. He creates his own fake as reality. It is pathetic that a white boy could be dumb enough to think that he can convince the rest of us, people like me and people like you, that he and his administration have done a fantastic job dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. It is bullshit. It is bullshit, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And the scary thing about it is that there are 80 million white folks just like Trump think just like Trump, live in a bubble just like Trump, create a fake reality just like Trump, is racist to the core just like Trump. Those are the people that Trump is targeting with his rhetoric He's hoping that there are millions more of white folks out there that think the way he does, that are racist to the core like he is. And his rhetoric will motivate and inspire those white folks to go to the polls and vote for him in November of this year. From Trump's perspective, it is them against us. That's his perspective. It's a divisionist tactic that Willie Lynch explained in in his letter to the white racist slave owners as to pertaining to how the white racist slave owners could consistently divide the enslaved black folks therefore creating division, confusion between the slaves themselves, which is a way of controlling people. The Republican Party has used a divide and conquer tactic for the past 60 years. It started with the Nixon administration. Reagan used it. George H.W. Bush used it. George W. Bush used it. And 
had John McCain became president, it would have been because he attempted to use that divide and conquer tactic that they call a Southern strategy. They call a Southern strategy. Trump is using the Southern strategy today. Do you see how he is telling white folks that lives in the suburbs that if Joe Biden is elected, uh, crime, their, their suburban neighborhoods will be riddled with crime and their home values will decrease because black folks will be allowed to move into their suburban communities. Do you see the shallowness? Do you see the racism? Do you understand the racism, how racist that is? He's using using dog whistles to incite, to inspire more, more racist white folks to react and vote for him in November. He's saying, be afraid of those black folks. Be afraid of those brown folks. Be afraid of those immigrants. That's what this dumb white boy in the white boy house is saying. He went to the podium yesterday and tried to convince us that he and his administration have done a fantastic job dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic after more than 140,000 American human beings have died, after more than 4 million American human beings have tested positive, having the infection, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. We are in a war with those folks. There are entirely too many, too many white folks that are inspired by Trump. There are too many white folks that are thinkers, think, thinkers that are thinking like Trump. There are too many Trump-like thinkers out there. And 99 and 9 tenths percent of them are white folks. It is white folks that are threatening us. It is white folks that are threatening our democracy. It is white folks that are threatening our health. Look how they want to take the health insurance away from 20 million Americans that never had health insurance before Obamacare. And every day, Trump and his minions, his lackeys, are in courts trying to take Obamacare away from those 20 million folks. And most of those folks that are unemployed due to the COVID-19 pandemic are now getting their health care through Obamacare because in this on this plantation called America these dumb idiotic narrow-minded empty vessel white folks have consistently, persistently tied our 
health care to our employment. How dumb is that? It is dumb as a brick. If if health care is tied to an employer, what happens if 30 million folks are immediately unemployed due to the COVID-19 pandemic? Then those 30 million folks no longer have health care. You see my point, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. We are being led by white folks. And our problem, our enemies, are white folks. We are being led by white folks. Our nemesis, our enemies, our problems are created by white folks. We are being led by white folks. Our problems are being created by white folks. Our health care is being taken away by the decisions of white folks. Our safety is threatened by white folks. They have unidentified mercenaries on the street of Portland, Oregon. That is a testing ground to see if it works and then it will be expanded to other cities like Chicago, New York City, Baltimore, Maryland, Atlanta, Georgia. All of those places that have a huge population of black folks is where these unidentified white racist mercenaries will be deployed by Trump, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Our enemies are white folks. We are being led by white folks. Our lives are being threatened by white folks. It is white folks. It has always been white folks. It will always be white folks unless black folks and brown folks aggregate, organize, and stop these vicious white folks. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. That's all I have on this one.